What is going on everybody? I am Melty Gore and I just want to give you guys another heads up about what's going on. As a bunch of you know, I was in the hospital the last uh, five days um, doing some testing and I got out today. So uh, that's good. Um, didn't really find too many answers on some things that kind of sucks. Ruled out some stuff. But uh, so we'll see how that goes. I have to go to a cardio all just now. But uh, yeah, I wanted to give you guys the heads up. I'm all wet because I just took a shower because I had all this glue in my hair from having, uh, I had like 30 wires hooked up. I had like seven on my chest and then 20, 23 up here. You can see I've got, got some sores. I don't know how well you can see that, but I had them hooked up so long. I can't, I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, I had them hooked up so long that when they pulled them off, it pulled off skin, and that sucked, but, um, yeah, I just want to give you guys the heads up that I am okay, I'm alive, I'm here, I'm gonna record soon, I got my setup back, and look at what I got, picked up Mortal Kombat 10 on my way home, very pissed at a specific GameStop, um, I went to GameStop that I'm not, I don't normally go to, it was just close by to the hospital on my way home, and I went to... Um, this hospital, I wanted to get the uh, collector's edition, which is like $150, comes with the statue of Scorpion, and just a whole bunch of cool things. I think it was Scorpion, um, or Spawn, one of them with the S. I think it was Scorpion. Um, I wanted to get that. I went in, I was like, hey, uh, I want to get the collector's edition for Xbox One. She's like, oh, okay, cool. You know, grabbed one of them, threw it on the counter, started ringing me up, scanned my power-up card, um, and oh, I still got some glue. Uh scanned my power-up card and was like, oh, this isn't working. So I gave her my phone number and she's like, oh, it's not here. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm like, been a subscriber for like seven years or however long. And she's like, did you pre-order it? I was like, no. And she's like, oh, I can only sell it to pre-orders. And I was like, uh, okay. You know, so the whole time I'm thinking, well, why the hell are they displayed? You know, if somebody pre-orders something, hide it so nobody thinks, you know, that way you can just say, no, we don't have any. You know, why go through this whole process? Why not just tell me up front? You know, and I got really, this whole event really pissed me off because I was already on edge. I was in the hospital forever. I looked like shit because I haven't showered in five days. And I was just not in the best mood. I just wanted to grab it and get out of there. Um, so then I was like, okay, well, do you know any nearby GameStops that have one in stock? So she looks it up and she's like, nope, there aren't any. Uh, let me check online. And she told me they weren't available online, but before I entered the store, I was on my phone, and I had a collector's edition on the GameStop site in my cart ready to go because I was like, oh, if they don't have it, I'll just order it online. Um, so I knew, and it would have said not available online if they were out. It always does. Um, same thing happened with the Amiibos I was trying to collect. You know, once they were unavailable online, it said. So I knew she was lying right away, which I don't understand why she would lie. It's a sale. But, um... Probably because it wasn't a sale in the store, but whatever. Um, so then she tried selling me on the limited edition, which is a hundred bucks, and it's basically the regular game for sixty, plus a thirty dollar pack. So that totals ninety, but they sell it for a hundred, which makes absolutely no sense. The only thing that's different is on this case, it would say limited edition under it. I don't understand why they're scamming people like that because it's literally a sixty dollar game plus the thirty dollar pack buy them separately, and you save $10. I don't understand, just for a box that's this limited. So it's like, no, fuck that. You know, and I even told her, I was like, that's $10 extra. You know, it's 30 for that and 60 for that. Why would I pay 10 extra? And so I was like, no, I'll just get the regular one. And <clears throat> she was like, do you want the pack? I was like, no. You know, screw you. I'm not buying any more shit. And I hate pre-ordering stuff because you're basically just giving them a loan. Because who knows if reviews come out and the game sucks, you're stuck with a pre-order. I mean, you can switch it, but then you have to wait longer. You know, it's just stupid. But anyway, so she went on to tell me they didn't have any. I bought the regular left, and I was like, shit, I was going to order one online. I didn't even think about it when I was in there. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've got a friend um, that's the assistant manager at the game sub not too far from me. And that's how I get a lot of discounts and stuff. Um... And, because I know a lot of you guys ask about my collection, and I do get a lot of discounts. Um, I just give him the money, he buys stuff for me. Uh, he gives me a bunch of free, like, strategy guides and stuff, too, like limited editions. I never use strategy guides. I find them pointless. You can find everything online for free, but whatever. That's a rant for another day. 
Um, so I, I texted him. I was like, hey, do you guys have any collector's editions for Mortal Kombat there? And he's like, we have one for PS4. Um, if you want one for Xbox One, I can order one. And I was like, oh, so you can order one. He's like, yeah. So then I told him the whole story. And I was like, hey, I bought this one um, from this other GameStop. Uh, it's brand new. Can I return it there and buy a collector's edition? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, I paid with a debit card. Does that matter? I also used the $10 Power Up Rewards coupon at that store because I just happened to have one because I was going to use it for Dark Souls and then GameStop was out of Dark Souls. So I saved it. Um, so I paid like 53 for it. And uh, he's like, oh, no, I can't reimburse you for the coupon because then anybody would just use a coupon and return the item and get their money back. And I was like, shit. You know, and then at that point, I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to stick with the irregular and just screw the collector's edition. And <laughs> I went on, soon after I left, I went on the tellgamestop.com site and I gave them an awful review because I'm still super pissed. Like, first of all, she lied to me up front and I knew she was lying and I called her on it. I was like, look, I was on the website and it said they were there and she's like, oh, well, it doesn't say there are. I was pissed about that. I was pissed because... If she knew those collector's editions for pre-order, she should have fucking told me. Um, straight up. She shouldn't have rain it all out, gotten me all ready to go. Because um, I was excited. I was like, holy shit, first GameStop I go to, they've got one. You know, I wasn't expecting them to have one at all. Uh, you know, so she did that, which sucked. And then she kind of acted kind of snippy and kind of like a bitch after she found out I didn't pre-order one. So that pissed me off. So I left it like an awful review. Told them, you know, I was going to just return this and order one, and but I lost a $10 coupon if I did that, so I didn't. You know, I went on this big rant about how they just lost $100 because she lied, you know. So I, I went on this huge thing. I told them everything that happened, and I was honest. Um, so I'm excited to see how that happens. I've only done that one other time, and it wasn't as bad. And the district manager actually ended up emailing me about it so I'm hoping somebody does so I can be like this was bullshit because um, I really would have loved I really want to start getting the um, like the big additions now for games now that I'm doing uh, YouTube it gives you guys something else to see it adds to my collection I just think it'd be cool to start doing that and especially with this one it had a really cool statue I probably wasn't going to display the statue just because I don't have a lot of room but it would have been really cool to have um, and the box that it came in, it was just such a nice collector's edition. Um, I'm just really pissed that that happened that way. Uh, but, you know, I got the game. Um, I'm probably going to take it easy the next day or two. I've been off my medicine for five days, and um, this I've got a headache. This all hurts. Just So I'm going to upload a little bit. I'm going to try and get a video of Mortal Kombat as soon as possible. Um, just a quick overview on nothing big. Um, and then I've got another... I've got a couple of videos, like some more Game Dev Tycoon, a few more Dark Souls, I think, to upload. Um, so it won't be too much new stuff, but I wasn't able to upload there because their internet was awful, um, like so bad. I have hotspot on my phone because I still have unlimited data, so I tried using that, but I was surrounded by, like, the way the hospital was and the where my room was located. My room was located in kind of a deeper part of the hospital and outside of my window, I was surrounded by, like, brick walls of the other parts of the hospital. So it just was, it was terrible reception um, just down where I was. And so my phone's internet didn't work so great. I was able to watch Netflix, watch Daredevil all the way through. Fantastic show. Might be my new favorite show. Check it out. Fucking awesome. I got a Netflix subscription just to watch that. And I do not regret it at all. I watched all 13 hours every episode within, like, a day. Um, within like 24 hours, uh, maybe maybe 48, but oh my god, so good. Check that out if you're a Marvel fan. Um, but yeah, so that's the that's the addition. Oh yeah, they gave me some cool uh, cool cards. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so I'll get you guys a video there soon. Um, oh, I'm so annoyed about the collector's edition. I should have just ordered one online, but I really wanted to get it today. Um, oh, maybe I'll buy one later on in life. They're so hard to find. Shit. Someone buy me one. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Absolutely don't do that. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a Mortal Kombat video recorded, and then that's probably going to be all that I record today. I do have a friend um, that's in the military that's visiting this week, too. And um, so I am going to 
spend some time with him, play some Mortal Kombat, just kind of do some chill time. Um, being in the hospital was awful, all the tests. Um, I like to talk about my medical stuff. I'm pretty open, so if any of you guys care or are curious about what they did, what I had to do, I'm not going to sit here um, for like a sympathy party because I'm not about that. But if you are interested, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you for the support. Um, for a vlog on a channel as small as mine, I was surprised I got as much support and as many views as I did just on a vlog. So I'm really happy about that. I mean, it was only 50 views, but it was 50 people who watched and uh, supported something I'm dealing with. So I do appreciate that a lot. Um, and really, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Um, I got a lot of messages from you guys uh, making sure I was okay. And... Uh, so, yeah, really, thank you. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon. Um, stay tuned for Mortal Kombat. That should be up soon. Um, have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.